Hello and welcome to my meditation. I am just delighted and honored that you have joined me. My name is Deborah Baker and if you are tuning in in real time, this is our last meditation of 2021. It's been quite a year. What we're going to do today, this is the last official meditation in our series on loving ourselves. At the same time, they're all about loving ourselves. All of our meditations are about loving ourselves, don't you think? Let's begin with our three nice deep breaths. Breathing all the way down into our tailbone. And speaking of tailbones, <laughs> let's feel that relaxation starting at the soles of our feet as we relax our bodies, which we all know is so important for meditation. And let's do the uh, technique I learned when I was taking childbirth classes, which is to tense up your feet. Just tense your feet up for a second and then release them and feel how you, you really notice the release, the relaxation after you've tensed up the muscles. And then tense up the muscles maybe in the tops of your feet and your ankles and let them go. Your calves and your shins. And release them. And what you're also doing <clears throat> in this exercise is increasing the blood flow to your body, to different parts of your body. So now your upper legs, and if you want, you know, all of your muscle legs and <laughs> muscles in your legs. And now notice how heavy your legs and your feet have gotten as you allow that relaxation to continue. Moving into your glutes, tighten up your glutes, all your muscles in your pelvic floor. Imagine like tightening up all around your, your pelvic girdle, you know, the, the, the bones in your pelvic girdle, tightening up all those muscles around there. And then let them go and feel that sense of relaxation and, re and uh, peace. And now move it up just a little bit, just below your navel. Your, I think they call those your lower abs. And your sides, maybe your lower back. Again, that kind of embrace. <clears throat> and now, and let it go. And feel it. Let your lower back go. And your midsection, all your middle abs. Pull your rib cage in. for a second and then let it go. Let your belly loose. <laughs> and now feel all the muscles around your rib cage. Tighten them up, your upper back. Pull your shoulder blades together and then pull your, your um, pecs together and let that go. And now pull, pull your hands into fists and then let them go. That's a really good one. That's a good one to do several times throughout the day. And then your lower arms. You figure out whether you want your hand to go this way or this way, but tighten up these muscles in your lower arms. And then your alternately tighten up your biceps and your triceps. And then let them go. And notice how peaceful your body is. It's funny how spirit gives me this guidance. I, this was not something that I was expecting for this meditation. And so now we've moved up to uh, just around the area of the collarbone. So maybe pull your shoulders in to kind of tighten up those upper chest muscles. Let them go and then tighten up your upper back muscles. Now bring your shoulders up to your ears. Squeeze them tight and then let them go. That feels really good to me. And now tighten up your face. 
if I can risk looking this ridiculous in front of you, you can do it by yourself. So just tighten up all your face muscles. And then let them go. Imagine tightening up around your head. I don't know how you tighten up your head muscles. And now just notice all of that stress and tension just draining out, letting go. How good, good, good that feels. So our last step in loving ourselves is also uh, just so concurrent with releasing the year because we, I think everyone I know, um, holds themselves secretly accountable for something. There's something that when we think of it, if somebody says the word regret or, you know, do you have any regrets in your life or something, 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 you know, is there something you, if you had to do over, what would you do over? And whatever comes to your mind when you think of that is what we're going to let go of today. <sighs> So we're going to release the year and anything that you said or did or didn't say or do that you, that you wish you had in the year, we will let go of that. But so much of what has happened this year is out of our control. We're, we're powerless over the pandemic. We can make whatever choice suits us as far as vaccination and quarantining and wearing masks and all of those things. We, we have control of that, but we have no control over how the pandemic spreads, who gets the, the um, uh, disease and who doesn't, the virus. I remember after the global quarantine, you know, when everybody stayed home for a month or so, I don't really remember how long it was, and different lengths for different people. Some people haven't ever gone back to work in the office. Uh, but I had a friend who used to do a lot of work in the country of India, and she said she was getting pictures from some of her colleagues of the rivers there and how much they had cleared up because the daily commute and the, and the work and everything that was normally happening had stopped and the river cleared itself up and it wasn't brown anymore. And she accused them of photoshopping the pictures because it seemed just impossible that it could clear up so quickly. And so let's focus on the good things that have happened. And remember, thank you, God, I wouldn't have it any other way. We don't know the short-term and the long-term effects of what's going on <clears throat> right now outside of us. And so let's know that it is in God's hands, that all is in divine order. Thank you, God. I wouldn't have it any other way. It feels like it takes a lot sometimes to trust divine flow, to trust the universe, to trust God, whatever your spiritual belief is, to, to have this trust that everything that is outside of your control is okay, is working out as it needs to. And imagine that there is this great conspiracy to create for you the life you came here to have. And I suspect that you did not come here to have a life of beating yourself up. We are taught that. A lot of us are taught that. 
and often in my experience the people that say they oh they never beat themselves up they always think positive thoughts have become very skilled at denying it of hiding it from themselves when they are hard on themselves that uh, and I know because I had to develop some very powerful defense mechanisms growing up as I mentioned before in an alcoholic home and I think everybody has to develop some defense mechanisms growing up and we operate in through in and through them those defense mechanisms and we mistake those defense mechanisms for our comfort zone we mistake our defense mechanisms for our comfort zone because they feel they make us feel safe but it's a false kind of safety. It's a safety that, you know, similarly with, you know, soldiers in, I think it was World War I that, that fought in trenches. They, they had a sense of safety in the trench, but it was a temporary safety. They couldn't live the rest of their lives in those trenches. And so our defense mechanisms, whether it's denial or blame or criticism or you know, whatever, they, they take on so many costumes. Whatever they are, they are our trenches that get us through the war. And we forget that we can, we don't have to bring those trenches with us. So I invite you to think about your childhood for a moment. And think about if there were anything that happened that um, you know was traumatic, that created an indelible mark on you. And, and hold your hand open and imagine that you're just placing in your hand all of those things. The, the need to please, the need to be a good girl or a good boy, the need to keep everybody laughing or happy. Um, the need to fix everybody, you know, whatever it may be. We all come up with these, with our own little trenches, you know, our own defense mechanisms. So let's imagine you filled your hand up. Now you're going to crunch it up, and it's like tissue paper, so you can crunch it up and squeeze it up. And squeeze your hand really tightly. And let's say an affirmation, I am willing to release anything and everything that no longer serves me. I am willing to release anything and everything that no longer serves me and what I came here to experience on earth. I am now releasing anything and everything that is standing in the way of my highest good. And now open your hand and take a deep breath and just feel your hand relaxing. You know, in a similar sort of way that um, it, you know, different times in your life where you've held, found yourself holding your breath or holding tense in a situation if you're watching a movie and then when the, the, the trauma is over you relax you realize wow I was, didn't realize that I was holding on so tightly so when these things come up up you know for the rest of your life but certainly in this this coming week as we're drawing 2021 to a close or whenever you do this meditation when you are ready to let go of things that no longer serve you I invite you to imagine putting it in your hand and holding it very tightly and holding it tightly in a way that you say, I thank you for serving me when you did because that trench kept me safe during war, but the war is over and I can let it go. And we can put 2021 in there and let it go. We can put whatever it is we want into that hand, squeeze it tightly, kiss it goodbye, 
and let it go. Because you deserve peace. You deserve not to beat yourself up anymore. Let's tell the truth about our past. And that is that we were doing the best we could. We confused our uh, defense mechanisms for our comfort zones and we held on to them very tightly, but we don't need to do that anymore. And so let's imagine ourselves now in our real comfort zones. <sighs> Feeling like you love your body, however it is, you know, however it does or does not measure up to the, the social ideal. It's your body. It is this precious, precious vessel through which you are having this human experience, in which you are having this human experience. And let's treasure that sweet personality that is still evolving. My, my sense, I, uh, some of you know I work a 12-step program and one of the tenets, one of the beliefs is rigorous honesty. And I, I truly believe that we are as honest with ourselves as we are able to be. And so it, when we lie to ourselves, it's, it's because we, we, the truth is too much. So I was talking to some friends last week about having difficult conversations. And one of them was, was getting a massage and she said it was hurting and she didn't know, she was trying to talk herself into being quiet. And she said, well, maybe it's hurting now, but it'll feel better later. And we talked about how um, uncomfortable it is to speak up in certain situations and how if we tell the whole truth, the whole truth is, this is hard for me to say. It's hard for me to speak up, but I'm concerned that the pain that, you know, that I'm experiencing in this massage is going to make it worse rather than better. Um, we've, we've been taught that we need to be succinct, to just say, hey, that hurts, stop it, or, or you know, very, very direct. And, and we can tell the whole truth. We can open up our hearts a little bit and say, you know what? And, I, and I'll tell you the truth, that doing these meditations sometimes is a little scary because I never know what's going to come out of my mouth. And sometimes I have to, well actually, every time I record them, when I'm posting them to the internet, I hear them for the first time because when I channel, I, there's a, the part of my brain that is involved with memory is quiet. And so I'm, you are getting firsthand what is coming from spirit to you. So if you have hung in with this meditation until now, that's because this message was meant for you. So let's let go of the past. Let's give ourselves permission to get rid of the trench, to, to put it all in the hand, and then squeeze it, kiss it goodbye, and let it go and feel that freedom, that relaxation. <sighs> feel your hand. And you know, when, when our hands relax, they're, they're not like this and they're not like this. They're, they're curved a little bit, you know, they're, they're bent. <sighs> and so let's allow ourselves to curve a little bit and relax and, and move through our lives as our souls chose, chose for us to, as the universal life force is guiding us. You deserve the peace of knowing that you are a beautiful soul, that you don't have to carry things around anymore. Let's take a nice deep breath together.
and just let it go and know that the Divine Presence in me honors and recognizes and blesses the Divine Presence in you. Thank you again for joining me. Namaste.